What's going on guys? We're pulling an all-nighter. We're working on the LX470. I finally got this area of the garage cleaned out, so I figured let's go ahead and get this thing tinted. Now, as far as tint goes, I went ahead and ordered pre-cut tint, and I'll go ahead and insert a link in the description down below to the product on Amazon. What's cool about this product is that you just go to the Amazon listing, and then you can go ahead and customize your order. So underneath the, the listing, it'll give you like three or four different sections. Uh, the first one will ask you your make and model, year of the car. So you go ahead and put the information of the car. Then the second part will ask you uh, what percent tint you want. And if you look at their pictures, and you might, I, I think you might be able to look at the reviews and see what the different percentages are or what they look like. For the Lexus, I went ahead and did 20% all around. I requested for 20% all around. The LX470, at least the model year 2000, already has this, this glass or this mirror tint already embedded in the glass in the, the rear section of the car. However, I'm still going to go ahead and put the 20% tint on the inside just to kind of make it look blacked out. And it actually does help make it look blacked out because uh, I've already done the other side and in the daytime, depending on the angle of looking at, at the car, you'll get that mirror look or you'll get the black look, but either way, it still looks good. I already got started here. I didn't want to make a video at first just because I thought it would be a super long process. It is a super long process, but if you do things kind of the long way, not only going to save yourself a couple hundred dollars, but you're going to get a tint job for a small fraction of the price and you're gonna have the sense of pride where you did it yourself. So here is the rules of pre-cut tints, right? I've already used a good amount of it. It comes in this, it comes in this packaging right here, all rolled up. This is already tinted, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do this section. So the movable windows are probably going to be your hardest ones. So uh, what I recommend is removing the interior door card. And why I say that is because the interior door card has the seal. So the hardest part about doing this part, and I'll show you guys on that window, if you guys can see, there's actually glass there, but you can see that's tinted, that's tinted, that's tinted, that's not tinted. So I'll show you guys how I do it when we get to that window. This one's already done, but with uh, the bottom of the window here, there's that glass seal, and it's just kind of a pain trying to, you know, maneuver the film, the tinted, or yeah, the film on the glass, trying to get it in the crevices of all the seals, and trying to get the the uh, the film inside the the bottom seal. So let's go ahead. Let me show you guys how I'm going to do the the windows that are pretty much fixed and not moving. So that's one, two and the back one so i'm pretty much going to show you guys what i do here and just by watching what i do here you should be able to do the back ones these are sh these should actually be easy because you don't really have uh, a seal around that you have to tuck the the tint into that one was really easy so let's go ahead and work on this one let me show you guys how i do this as far as tools go what i have to remove the door card is Pretty much a Phillips screwdriver, get yourself a little pry bar tool, and a little flathead screwdriver. That should pretty much uh, be enough to remove the door cards. Oh, actually one more thing. Get yourself a little flathead screwdriver, and I'll show you guys why. As far as the tint goes, what I have is a spray bottle, so you could use this. This is, I'll go ahead and insert a link in the description down below to all the stuff that I'm going to be using today. This is more convenient than your your regular like Windex spray bottle just because this spray, so like once you get that pump action going up top here, so pump, it, it sprays like, it keeps spraying so that your hand doesn't get tired just from squeezing that trigger. So that's a spray bottle and what's inside it is just water with like one or two pumps of dish soap, like your Dawn dish soap. Then we have, uh, we'll grab a couple clean washcloths. I've got a little squeegee here. It's not that necessary, but I just have it. And then grab yourself a little card. This is uh, this is what we're gonna be using to uh, get the tint on the on the glass. This along with the the washcloth because we don't want to scratch the tint. And I'll show you guys what I mean. If you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and just use like an old library card. The blade right there. 
You don't need the blade, however, it's good to have one. Well, I use it to separate like the, so for example, this part is the, the, the little pane of glass right here. So I did, uh, I wanted to separate that from this piece right here. That way it doesn't end up on the ground like that. It's, it's great for cleaning the glass. So if you have a car that, I don't know, has overspray on it for some reason, or it's got like crud on it, you can go ahead and use a blade and just peel that stuff off. Pretty cool. So I just wanna let you guys know that I have been doing this several times in the past. I've actually done this since my first vehicle, and that was a 2004 Nissan Maxima. Just letting you know, with smaller cars, with like curved back glasses and all that, it gets more difficult, but it's doable, trust me. Uh, you're just gonna need some patience and persistence. That should be on a shirt or something. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. I am by no means a professional tinter, so if you are one of those tint pros and you're watching this and you're about to cringe, you're about to cringe. When you're doing tint, you wanna make sure that you're in a closed environment, you don't want wind, you don't want leaves and debris or whatever just flying everywhere because you don't wanna get that stuff between the tint and the glass. Right now we're inside my garage, it's about, I don't know, 65 degrees in the year, 70 ish degrees. I'm actually pretty comfortable. But it's not super hot, we're not in direct sunlight. Don't do it in direct sunlight. Ask me why. If you do it in direct sunlight, you're going to dry up the soapy solution so quick that you might just tint the outside of your glass. Let's go ahead and grab this piece of tint. Got my soapy solution. We're gonna get some of that stuff on my hands. Make sure your hands are nice and clean because you don't want grease and yuckiness on your tint. One side is where the, the, the pre-cut stuff you can peel off. And then pretty much this is the backing, right? So you can feel where the cut is. Oh, or is it the other side? Yeah, there we go. All right, so on this side it's peeling off. So this is, this is gonna be your front. So we're gonna take the backing piece and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and with a blank canvas or a clean surface, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with that. Oh, look at that, that's weak. Oh. Spray this with that soapy solution. I'm gonna go ahead and put the back part up against the, the glass. And I'll just grab like my squeegee or my library card along with the rag or, yeah, let's grab our li library card along with the rag. And basically just create that bond up against that window, All right? Okay. Oh, I should probably do that. I'm gonna peel off a corner and just like start this peel. Then I'll put that backing up against the window again. There we go. And while this is peeled off, you wanna you wanna make sure that you keep it like lubricated with the soapy solution. That way it's not giving you a hard time and trying to attach back up against that backing plate or that back sticker thing. Uh, so keep this lubricated as you're peeling it off. Now, we're gonna get this window ready. So I've already went ahead and cleaned this up with my soapy solution, as well as like with a blade and just make sure there's no crud. Uh, you might have little writings and stuff on your windows. You know, it'll say like, for example, this says Toyota and the glass manufacturer or whatnot. Uh, don't take the blade over that stuff because you'll peel it off unless you want to peel it off and be my guest. Also, when you get to like the back windows that have like the little heater elements in it, those little squiggly lines, don't use the blade on those because those little squiggly lines in your glass is there for a reason. You don't want to peel those off. Anyways, let's go ahead and spray this off. That's okay, you can be generous with it. I'm still new at this, I'm not a pro. I'm gonna keep spraying it as I peel it away. There we go. Nice and soapy.
The hard part about these are these, these window seals. Because this car is so old, or I don't know what it is, or maybe this just good quality stuff, it is so tight up against the glass. So what I had to do was I took my little, either take your library card or take your little pry bar thing, plastic one. I went ahead all around and I basically like stretched out the seal away from the glass as best as I could, just so that when we go to apply the tint, we can slide it in, you know, up against the glass and like in between the seal and the glass uh, without getting stuck. But yeah, there it is pretty much installed. Might get some uh, bubbles here and there. So there's a little bubble there, but that's okay. Get all the water out. And once it's installed, you want to basically push, the, you just, you basically want to push the solution from the center outward. So like I was going upward and then to the sides and then slowly bring it down. Just make sure when you're, when you're doing your strokes with your uh, library card and your rag, you want to keep them small. Don't do super long ones because you don't want to crease the, uh, like if you, if you have a, a little, I don't know, bend or, or a bubble, you don't want to bring it all the way down and then have it crease and then you'll end up with lines and those are always no good. Anyways, let's go ahead and let me show you guys how we remove the door card and all that. But before I do that, I'm probably going to install this window and the rear windshield. Or actually, I might save that one because I'm looking for a new tailgate. So let's go ahead and do this one. result that probably took me i don't know maybe 10 minutes really easy stuff these two stationary ones super easy all right guys so to remove the front door cards and i'm pretty sure this is the same thing as that side first thing you're going to do is remove the speaker and this pretty much just pries off just by pulling it off and that's what the backing looks like then there's going to be two phillip head screws remove those over here grab your little flathead screwdriver pry this out and then there's another phillips head screw in there then with your same screwdriver you're gonna go in here and pry up and remove that section and go on the bottom and pry down like that and you should be able to remove this then you just move this handle like that and pull that out set that aside over here to remove this you're going to, this is going to take some energy out of you you might even break a nail all right Grab yourself the plastic pry bar. This is what I did. So this was in there pretty good. I grabbed myself the plastic pry bar, put it in here to give me some leverage. Then with my flathead screwdriver, I went in over here and basically what, what's happening is that there's a metal tab. So if you guys see that metal tab, so I basically pushed up against this metal tab with my flathead screwdriver. So imagine this is still installed. Right, so I'm pushing up against the metal tab with my uh, screwdriver, then prying it up. This is really hard to take off, guys. All right, you're going to disconnect the two connectors that are connected to that, remove those, and those are pretty much just tab right here, disconnect, and tab right there, disconnect. Then over here, there's a Phillip head screw as well. You're gonna remove that. Over here on the side, so there's one, two, three, I believe there's only three of them, yeah. There's these style rivets, right? And they're super easy to move. These are like my favorite style rivets I've ever seen. So that might freak you out, like, what do I do? All you gotta do is push it in. You literally, you push it in and it's loose and then just pry it out. It's going to be four Phillip head screws on the bottom over here. So they're gonna be hidden behind this rubber gasket so you got to pry it up and there's a hole i don't know if you can see that there's a hole right there and then there is like basically there's four of them right remove all four then once all those are removed you should be able to grab right here and basically push up i don't want to push up right now because i don't want to possibly 
peel off the tint, but you're, gonna, you're just gonna grab it right here, pull up and it comes right off. Super easy, guys. We'll start by removing the little screw that's in here. We're gonna take my little flathead screwdriver, gonna pry off that little plastic piece in there, grab our Phillips head screwdriver, grab that screw, all right? Put that aside. You can remove this ashtray. Hopefully that's a better view, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pry over here with my plastic pry bar, right? Just to give ourselves some leverage. Then I'm gonna take my metal flathead screw, screwdriver, and we're going to try to push that pin inward. That way we can pry this up. There we go. I swear to you, it feels like I'm breaking this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the switch. Grab our flathead. Just gonna pry up like that. Land on the bottom. Just kind of remove it. Grab the handle, open the door, remove that. So on the inside here, there's going to be another Phillips that's hidden. Let's remove that. Let's grab that little screwdriver again and we're gonna pop those rivets in. So like I showed you guys, literally push them in. Push them in and then just pull them out. All right. I believe there's two Phillips screw screws. There's one. There's two. Moment of truth. We got everything off. Just like that. And then on the inside, you've got a little accent light right there. You just gotta, there's a little tab in the middle of it. Just press it and just kinda wiggle it around until it comes out. There we go, just like that. And that's how we get the door card off. So we need the window to be moving. I've got the car in the on position, but the car is not on, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and put our window switch back. I'm gonna bring it down all the way. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean inside the window seals. What I do is we're gonna start from the top to the bottom. That way when we spray the water, gravity will just bring the water along with all the, the crud down. So, and it's okay to be generous with this stuff, guys. It's just soap and dish, yeah, dish soap and water. There we go. All right, now we can grab our clean washcloth here, but I'm not. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean within the seals. We're not gonna close it all the way, right? So right now we're gonna go ahead and generously spray the glass. So if you've got crud or debris on your windows, you can go ahead and grab that blade and clean it up. What I like to do is just go over with my hand, see if I feel for anything, don't feel anything. All right, I'll spray it once more. All right guys, so right now we're gonna go ahead and apply our tint. What we're gonna do is I'm basically going to, I'm going to try to slide the sides in first, basically into the rubber seals. So right here. So what I like to do is I like to hold tight at the top and at the bottom kind of, and just slide right in. And then same thing on the other side, hold tight at the top, tight at the bottom, and slide right in. And now that we're in on both sides over here, we're gonna go ahead and try to line it up as best as you want or can up top, right? And now we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, squeeze out all the water. Just gonna grab my squeegee. Don't press too hard when you're squeezing out the water initially because it's still slippery on the glass. You'll move it around. So like with one hand, I'm just kind of holding it. And then with the other hand, I'm just gently pushing out water. Very gentle. There we go. And then I'm basically just working from the center out. Okay, once you've squeegeed out a whole bunch of the solution, 
we're going to go ahead and roll the window up gently. And I'm just going to kind of hold on to the window slash tint just to keep it from sliding down. Keep the, the tint from sliding down. There we go. Keep it like that. Now we'll just go ahead and squeegee the, the bottom here. Start at the center and work my way towards the out. Now you could do it with the door cards on, however, it's more of a struggle. It's a lot more easy to do it with the door cards off. Make sure you don't open these windows for at least, well, if it's cold out, give it a week just to be safe. If it's nice and hot out, maybe three to four days. What I like to do is maybe grab some masking tape and just put it over the window switches just to kind of remind you not to use the, the windows. All right guys, so here we are. Brought the Lexus out, it is the next day. Obviously, we've got the sun out. Just wanted to show you guys what the tent looks like. Again, that's 20% all around. You can see in the, the back that you still have that mirror gloss uh, look from the factory. However, it's more blacked out, I guess you would say. Really looks good. I might black out the wheels, we'll see. But just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Here's the end result. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments regarding the install of the tents, uh, go ahead and comment down below. There's tons of YouTube videos out there regarding the install and whatnot of tents. Uh, like I said, I am by no means an expert, but if I'm an average Joe and I could do it, you can do it too. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video. It's great out. I'm gonna go enjoy it.